Welcome back to episode 3 of the Devlog series. So in this episode, I focus a lot on the battle mechanics and the whole loop that kind of goes into that. I uh, just wanted, to, before I start this video, say that obviously this game is inspired by cats. If you watch the first two episodes, I mentioned that, and that was, I think, one of the very first clips in the first episode. Uh, a lot of the stuff you'll see in here is pretty similar to the mobile game and that's by design uh, obviously this stuff right in the beginning it's going to seem very similar because it's like the same genre you know it's an auto battler robot builder um you know the, and i'm doing that because it, cats was a great game it, it's a great mobile game and it's it's really cool um but there's nothing like it on roblox so i, I think it's you know roblox needs a game like this so i, I thought why not with all that being said i uh, the game isn't just going to be a one-to-one -one copy. <laughs> uh, there will be lots of Roblox-esque mechanics in it. You know, unique weapons, unique bodies, unique, unique everything. The you know a lot of the loop loop will be different, and uh, I plan on doing a lot more with the actual uh, like collaboration. You know, team up with people, have uh, clans or, or groups. You know that you can be in. Uh, that kind of stuff. So, with all that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, I have created a kind of battle system where kind of it will show like a battlefield that's right now it's just a base plate. And then change your camera so that your camera goes to the battlefield. Um, and then if I run it again, you'll see kind of the camera will follow the action and kind of zoom in when things get closer together and zoom out if they get farther apart um, and I think it, it looks pretty good small update we have a working battle button so when you click battle it will send you into a battle you can then cancel uh, change your bot up if you want and battle again uh, this will be random it'll be kind of based off of your level and eventually you'll be able to like skip if you don't want to face that specific bot to keep like a streak that kind of thing and yeah i also made this currency display here that i think looks pretty decent uh nothing much to it except uh i went with like a nuts and bolts kind of currency i think it's fitting and if you change the numbers like here press save they update and have like suffixes um but interestingly if you go above a billion you can go to trillion then if you go more than trillion like so it, it'll change the currency to like a new kind and then it will kind of reset down the suffix so it'd be you know your golden currency and you have thousands of the golden one so they're equivalent it just it displays a little bit better um, and this works also so we have let me just make this easier for myself that's E15 would be a uh, quadrillion is what it technically is. And then if you have more than quadrillion, it would be, or if you had quadrillion of gold, it would be the diamond here, which looks like that. So now when you battle, uh, after about eight seconds or so, the walls will come up. And if your bot gets hit by a wall, it would end the match. <laughs> your bot should explode here, but uh, we don't yet and this bot would then lose. This is a mechanic that is introduced to kind of mitigate uh, long matches. You know, it, it makes us that the absolute max time a match could be would be 15 seconds. And I can kind of do this. And I also made it so that, you know, you can technically the skipping works, but <laughs> none of the bots are changing because it's not random yet. And then you tap to start the match. And then if we wait like seven seconds we'll see the walls come in camera fades out and it would in this case it's like an exact tie i don't know which one would actually win here here's a bit of a better example of what i meant so in an event of kind of a almost tie where neither bot is killing the other one we're kind of at a stalemate the walls will come out and they will be the deciding factor so this bot would have lost in that scenario because it was being pushed further away. 
this is pretty funny. I was just messing around and I accidentally disabled the death walls causing death. And the result's pretty funny. And my I'm pretty shocked my physics engine kinda holds up <laughs> in a sense, if you can call it that. Uh yeah. <laughs> pretty hilarious. So I just enabled our old debug screen menu here, and you can I think this clearly illustrates why this was so important. It's it's so cool, you know, that we turned essentially we're rendering what this is showing onto the three D objects behind it. So you can see it here, you know, it's it's pretty cool, right? Like like this is undeniably just really cool. We we have you even have the death walls in here too. If I let me go with like they're even matched. Really should end up kind of chilling in the middle. You know, everything that's being rendered on the 2D images is then being rendered in 3D. And it touched there, so we get battle completed. Full switch is who won, basically. Um, yeah, it's so cool, right? Like, wow. Yet another amazing feature of doing my it with my own physics engine is that I get to control the speed. So if I play this now, it's going to be running at 5x speed, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Let's do 10x speed for fun. <laughs> Love to see it. I have a very basic weapon working, so this is like a saw blade that when I go into battle, you'll see when it comes in contact with this bot, it will print out that it's damaged it, and it does have health, so it will eventually kill the bot. It says that I won there. And then if you take a look at the simulation here, the way I did it is actually, these aren't real physics objects. They're essentially bounding boxes that I'm just doing, I'm getting at all of the objects that are in the bounding box every essentially cooldown. So in this case, it's 0.25 seconds. So this is essentially like a hit scan system, and I think it works pretty well. Bit of an update here. I've created a couple new assets for the game. So some new wheels here, new body. Uh, I can do some of this. Replace the old wheels that were there as well. And yeah, pretty cool. Uh, there is another body. Uh, here's the other body. You can see it here. This one happened to have three wheels on it, but not a guarantee. And if I go ahead and battle with it, you can see this is kind of what it looks like. So this one's a bit taller. <laughs> uh, and then here is uh, this one. I think I called this one Zippy. And this one's Tower. Uh, the names don't mean anything. They're just like internally used. But maybe they'll be on display somewhere. And here's kind of what this one looks like. And then also, yeah, the new wheels. I think they look alright. Uh, I mean, this is the first tier of the actual assets so they'll only look better as you like grow in tier. I've made it so that the wheels are a lot more powerful now. They can actually overcome the bigger they are they're more powerful that kind of thing and as a result the bots feel a lot stronger. Uh, this one and sure something like that see what happens. Oh <laughs> kind of doing a wheelie. But yeah, as a result, the bots are a lot stronger. They can really push each other, and it's pretty cool. After many iterations, I think I've came up with a basic menu layout that I like. This honestly took me a lot longer than it should have, and I had many, many attempts, but I, I think I like this. It's, you know, pretty, I would say basic, like open, like I can do a lot with this, um, you know. A nice little X icon, and you have your menu name up here. Pretty cool. Um, but I just want to illustrate how many different iterations I went through. So before this, it looked like this with these like fits. I was thinking like maybe like fire come out of here or something. I don't know. Uh, and then before that, we had this, which didn't look that good. This was my ChatGPT reference style kind of thing, and I tried to like mimic that here, and I just. Ugh, didn't like it. it looked not like Roblox um, and then this was a reference from Twitter so shout out to this guy kind of was inspired by this little like 
caution tape thing. And I kind of did a similar approach because I think it, it looked really cool. Um, yeah, a little, there's like some little uh, pattern here, like for the grid layout, which is like, you know, this paper essentially, blueprint paper. So there's like a subtlety there. That's like what the name is based off of. And then there's, again, just like a really subtle gradient in. And yeah, I think it looks cool. And now we have it in studio, in game. So I have it tied to this clash button right now, but this is what it'll look like in game. Nice hover effects and the fade in and out. Also click the same button, like standard in Roblox. Click the same button to close it. And I decided to redo this bottom bar to match the other UI. I think it looks nice. I think it's on theme. The other one, honestly, I think I knew I was going to end up redoing at some point. Uh, and it's a lot more on theme now. So I'm trying to come up with what I want the health bars to look like when you're battling. And I'm kind of running into a little bit of an issue. don't really know what I'm going to do here. So essentially my issue comes from these buttons here. They essentially take up a good amount of space, especially when on mobile. So I can't just like put the health bars up here. Like I, I could on PC, don't get me wrong. I could, you know, let's just get rid of these for demonstration purposes and put the health bars centered like this. Then I could do something like put your username like here or something, I, I don't know. Um, but I unfortunately can't really do this because of this damn thing. <laughs> um, so when you're on, when you're playing, let's say you're on mobile, this little thing ends up taking up a good portion of your screen and it gets kind of annoying. Um, so you kind of have to like account for that. You can't just put, because otherwise you know, half the health bar would be taken up by this menu. Um, the potential solution that I was thinking of would be put the the names above, like in this bar, like kind of how I just had it before I change anything. Um, that would probably work, but I don't know if I'm loving the way that's looking, but it would probably work. Um, another, you know, solution which I don't really love would be, uh, and I don't think I'm gonna do this. Like if there was like a top bar, which is essentially what older Roblox had, right? Then you would have a clean surface to put the health bars on, but that's kind of uh, lame. <laughs> uh, also, you know, you could, I was thinking about doing this too. You could do it, like give it like a cinematic effect to be like this when you're build or when you're fighting. Then it wouldn't look as lame, and then you could do the health bars, and it's like really cinematic. But uh, it just feels weird. I don't know. I don't really love that. Um, so I'm probably not going to do that either. Um, but I am experimenting.
I have made it so that the health bar changes and it's now in game when you play. It also shows like the stats of your bot here, which aren't accurate, but it shows it. It's cool. So in this clip, I am basically tracing over a ChatGPT reference that you see here. Here's a really long time lapse for it. This is something I often do. I'll, I'll get a reference from ChatGPT, giving it some uh, parameters that I like. And you can kind of see those three bo loot boxes that I created. Or I guess I passed uh, prompts into ChatGPT and it, it created. And now I'll take those references that ChatGPT made and kind of trace over them so that I have the actual vectors for them. And it's really easy to add a ton of new uh, versions of it. And I need a lot of versions of this crate. I, I wanted 10 specific versions of it to signify your streak that you're at. So here I am, I'm almost done tracing over the original uh, loot box here. And finishing up the top, you can see. So now that that's done, I am going to essentially create like 10 separate versions. It's really easy to create these separate versions because I have the actual vector art of the uh, original version. So it was super easy. I just essentially removed um, specific things from each version or recolored it. And then here's me putting the numbers in. And there we go. And then the finished product looks like this. Each one uh, kind of upgrades from the previous one. And I, I really like how it turned out. Amazing. I've updated the bottom bar. So now, updated the battle icon. I think it looks a lot better than the old one. You know, I didn't really think swords clashing really meshed well with this genre of game. And then also, you now have the loot shown on your bottom bar. So this would be like your current streak and, you know, the rewards. You'd be able to click this and a page would show up being like, do you want to end your streak and open rewards currently? Uh, and then also, if I rerun this, you'll see, if you look at the loot box, that it changes over time. So that's why we made all of those different versions. It'll change depending on your streak. I think it's a really nice touch. We have like a, a nice little, essentially, gif of a fire here, which is like your streak. And I think, I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so I've made a little rewards menu here on the side. So when you battle, it'll tell you kind of how much you'll you'll earn, how many current, how much currency you'll get. It'll upgrade your crate. You can zoom in for you so you can see a little bit better. I think it looks pretty nice. And again, this will also update depending on what your streak currently is. So if I reload this go to battle, you'll see it actually updates whenever your streak updates too. Let's all right, I'm working on the explosion when the bots die, and I think it looks pretty dang cool. Boom, nice little camera shake, really nice VFX, looks awesome. So I made it so that once the round is ended, this kind of sequence will play. It'll tell you your, your rewards and have to continue. When you battling and the round ends in a second. Oh, who's gonna win this? Close. <laughs> okay, so I won there. Now I get the victory screen, and I think it looks pretty cool. 